Hello guys, today I'm here to talk about Battlefield 3, PC gaming and the jump from console to PC. Now I've been playing Battlefield 3 for a long, long time now, pretty much ever since they released the beta, but only on console. It wasn't until quite recently that I finally made the jump to PC and my, is it a completely different experience. I never actually used to be a PC gamer, in fact I've always played on console, but because this current generation's been so long in the tooth for quite a while now, I did, did decide to invest in a gaming PC in late 2011. I've made a few upgrades to the PC since then and now I'm glad to be able to experience pretty much everything PC games have got to offer today. So what did it feel like jumping from console to PC Battlefield? Well, it's a completely different ball game, plain and simple. The biggest differences are the controls, which I'll talk about a bit later on, the frame rate and the resolution. Now of course on console the resolution displays at a maximum of 1280 by 720 whereas on PC you can go a lot higher than that. I currently go run in uh, 1920 by 1080 so 1080p and the difference is just night and day particularly on a PC monitor um, the crispness and the clarity of the image is just leaps and bounds ahead of the console and it's just generally the better way to game uh, the frame rate on console is locked at 30 fps maximum now it can dip below that quite considerably particularly on the big maps like gulf of oman caspian border and karg island are some some of the ones that the frame rate can get pretty bad in whereas on pc the frame rates are obviously a lot lot higher it's a lot smoother obviously depending on your hardware uh, I tend to go around 60-70 FPS on ultra settings. The game just looks absolutely phenomenal, especially on the aftermath maps, as you see in here, some gameplay from, uh, I believe the map's Marcas Monolith. The It just looks absolutely gorgeous. The fidelity is just way beyond the consoles, which is really quite blurry. A lot of texture popping, bad textures, jaggies. Whereas on the PC, you can just whap everything up to Ultra and it just looks absolutely phenomenal. Really, really, really nice. Now to talk about what I think is the biggest difference between PC and console, and that's the controls. Up until two years ago, I was a console gamer exclusively. That's all I ever played. I'd never really bothered with PC games, apart from the odd indie game, because my PC was pretty much it was crap. It was a crap processor. It had a really, really small amount of RAM. And my graphics card was a really old, uh, oh, I think it was an NVIDIA 8600 GT, so pretty rubbish. And the, the CPU was about 1.7 gigahertz single core, which is rubbish. So I never bothered with PC gaming. I always stuck to console. Uh, by and large, the console was fine. It satisfied all my needs. Uh, it looked all right, at least at the time. But the generation's been dragging on for so so long now that a lot of people are in fact jumping ship and moving over to PC purely because the games just look just look better, the mods uh, Battlefield in particular was one of the games that made me really want to play on PC uh, Daisy was a big factor and games like Skyrim which I play an awful lot of uh, on PC it, it wipes the floor with the console version with the ENBs and uh, just the various mods and it just it can make it look absolutely stunning but anyway before I get sidetracked back to the controls now being gaming on a console for so long means I was used to the controller the good old analog sticks but jumping from console to PC the difference between the analog sticks and the mouse is absolutely massive now initially I was getting owned in every match I ever played on Battlefield 3, pretty much any PC first person shooter, purely because I didn't have the reaction times or the ability, simple ability with the mouse to be able to aim and do things consistently. It, the controls confused me at first, uh, all the, the keys, my fingers kept hitting the wrong keys, in fact they still do that now sometimes, but I'm much much better than I was say two or three weeks ago. The game also tends to be a lot faster paced on PC, thanks mostly to the speed in which you can turn with the mouse compared to the analog sticks. Even with the sensitivity maxed out on console on the analog sticks, you cannot get the precision and the speed of a mouse, it's just impossible. Uh, and of course you've got to contend with up to 40 more people in a server on the PC. The console version's player count is capped at 24, whereas on PC it can go all the way up to 64. 
Now, especially on these close quarters maps, this map, Donya Fortress, is insane with 64 people. It's just an absolute clusterfuck. There's no way um, there's any kind of strategy involved, but uh, that's what makes it so fun. So, what are my overall opinions on the PC version of Battlefield 3 compared to its console counterpart? Well, fundamentally, it is the better game. The higher frame rate, the higher resolution, the higher player count, it all combines to make Battlefield 3 feel a lot more realised on PC than it ever did on console. The learning curve is quite high, but for me, completely worth it. I really don't think I'll ever be going back to the console version for the simple fact that once you've experienced these kind of frame rates and these kind of visuals, you just can't really go back. It's just a shame that I wasn't really able to experience Battlefield 3 on PC from the outset really. I really would have enjoyed to get into the game on the big maps, big player counts, all that great stuff. And to be honest, it is a bit of a bummer having to go through all the unlocks again, since I had almost all the unlocks on the console version. But, you deal with it. And that is it. In the next episode of this series, I'll be discussing some of my preferred loadouts and weapons, and how my tactics change to compete in the high player count servers. Until then, see you on the battlefield.